that I really appreciate that discussion. That was awesome. I, I'm already looking forward to publishing this because that was exactly the type of thing I wanted to um, talk about. Um, mm -hmm. the, just the, the Russian perspective is such a mystery here in the United States because all we hear is the media's presentation of the politics. We don't ever really get to hear from the Russian people. So that was awesome. But um, on a lighter topic, Yetis, you told me you've got Yetis in Russia. No. I, I, I did not know that. I did not. No, no, no. I, I didn't <laughs> well, no, say no, that. No, 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 no. I meant I just... that you have, that you have um, belief in Yetis, that there's like a, a, well, they could be real oh. or they could not be, but there's at least a belief in them, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, Russians are very superstitious and we believe in such things. Um, yeah, but well, how, I'm curious because here, um, well, we have the Sasquatch here and we have Bigfoot here, which is essentially the same thing. Um, most of the people that believe in it, um, like really believe in it. Well, not most, but many are from the native American tribes. You know, the, the people that were here when, uh, the Europeans came. And, um, so they have a very specific way of how they view the Bigfoot and the Sasquatch. Um, so I'm wondering how, how are they viewed in the Russian perspective? Are they like, cause a lot of the native American tribes actually consider them to be, um, they're almost like human beings. It's like a different tribe of human beings. They're huge, hairy human beings, but they're like, um, they're more like humans than they are like apes. Um, how, how does Russia view it? Well, when I said we believe in Yetis, <laughs> I didn't say we actually believe we have them. <laughs> uh, we have our own, uh, like, more Russian creatures, uh, like Vodyanoi, uh, uh, like the, the water, um, I don't know how to translate it, <laughs> like the, the water man who lives in the... Um, in, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know the word in English, wait. Okay. Uh, in a swamp, a swamp. Okay, swamp. Yeah. And he's so a man I'm... that lives in the swamp and like, he, does he? Well, he's male, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> he's, yeah, uh, he's just a character or creature who lives in water, like underwater. And well, a swamp is a dangerous place, right? Because you can drown there if you don't know how to make your way through. Uh, yeah, like if you don't know how to behave there, you can easily drown. So then people say that this Vadinoi creature took uh, took you if, if you drown in the swamp. Ah. Well, how, what does he look like though? Does he, does he look like a human being or does he look like an animal or? Uh, he looks like a human being who is covered with moss and, oh, and slime <laughs> like, and stuff, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> a very disgusting <laughs> creature. And is he, is he supposed to be located in one specific swamp or just any swamp? Yeah, just any swamp. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he's a busy guy. He must get around. That's a lot of land to cover, right? Yeah, and we also have Leshi, who lives uh, in the woods. So he's like the wood woods creature. And if you go to the woods and again, you don't know your way around, so you you can get lost because, because this creature, uh, he just makes you lose your way in the uh, woods <laughs> because he wants to eat you <laughs> or something like that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, and we have Baba Yaga. That's an evil woman who lives also in the woods in a, in a house that has um, chicken legs. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like a house uh, on legs. <laughs> That is really weird. You know, I think there was a, I think there was a horror movie made three or four years ago, 
that had the Blagadayu in it. That had what? Didn't you say it was called Blagadayu? Uh, no, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, okay. Da, it's like, yeah, old lady Yaga. <laughs> I'm going to look this up after we're done talking because <laughs> I think there was a, I think there was a movie here where they, they had that um, character as the main, the monster in it. Uh -huh. it it's, it's triggering something in my memory. I'm going to look that up. I'll, uh -huh. I'll let you know if I find anything. Yeah, and if you want to watch some Russian movies, sometimes uh, there is actually a movie, uh, a new movie that uh, includes all these creatures oh, that really? I listed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's it called? Uh, the last, uh, the last Bogatyr. So Bogatyr, yeah, Bogatyr is a Russian warrior. Um, ah. So there is a belief that in ancient times uh, there were really strong men uh, on the Russian land. Like uh, they were, yeah, they, they were called Bogatyr. That's like a, a really, really strong man mm. uh, who possesses the power of like 1,000 average men. Wow. <laughs> like he's that strong. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a strong man right there. Huh? Yeah. And yeah, so the movie is called The Last Bogatir. The ah, Last cool. Maybe I'll see if I can find it.